this or write like this. Hi everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kezia. I'm so happy that you found my channel and if you like my content then I would love it if you would stay and join my lovely subscribers. If you guys don't want to miss a video of mine then you can just click on the notification bell button and it will notify you every single time I post a video. So today's video is all about the Emily Edits The Ones palette from Makeup Revolution. It was her recent collaboration. It comes in a variety of different shades for all seasons and today I kind of played around with the berry shades and this is the look I created. So if you would like to see what I thought of the palette and how I actually managed to get this look then obviously keep on watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay, so basically all my face makeup and my eyebrows are done and so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on our eyes. I'm going to be using this palette, the Emily Edit The Ones palette. I know there's also the Needs palette, but I didn't find that I needed that, <laughs> even though it's called the Needs palette, you know what I'm saying? But I actually really wanted this one, the Ones palette, because, I mean, look at them shades, like... They're gorgeous. Okay, you missed it. Just, here we go. Here are the shades. Aren't they, like, so pretty? They're so, so pretty. Like, look at them. They're just gorgeous. There's like a mixture of shades. There's like the dark shades for like winter. You have the springy shades. You have some summer shades. You have also some autumn shades for like the red as well. You have a lot. And you also have like this big ass mirror. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and do like a berry, a berry eye. Because I know that there's quite a lot of like pinks and berry shades. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, I've never used, where is my blending brush? No. Okay, because I cannot go anywhere without my blending brushes from Milani. So basically, yeah, um, I have never tried this palette before, so it's going to be my first time. I basically um, used concealer, um, and I'm actually I'm going to use the shade called the cream, which is like this white white shade, and I'm going to basically um, so I'm going to be using this one, and I'm going to set my lid with it basically, and I'm going to be using this one. The Lux Soft Definer Brush from Zoeva. So we're just gonna tap it off, you know what I'm saying? Tap it off. So yeah, that is sort of a nice shade to um, set your concealer and provide for a nice base for your shadows. So now I'm gonna use, hmm, I'm gonna use this one. It was like um, found in one of the Kylie palettes, basically. And I'm going to actually use this one, which is called Laugh Cry is this one right here. So it's called Laugh Cry. I'm going to be placing that all over my crease and it's going to be like my transition shade, I guess you could say. Ooh. There's a lot of kickback in the palette as well. So yeah, I'm going to start doing this. Oh, they're so, so pigmented as you can see. Just going to blend that out. So we just have to take our time in blending them because I don't want this to be like harshest color on my um, eyes basically today. So what I'm liking also, what I'm doing also, is I basically drag this piece up so I make sure like I blend everything up since I have a bit of hooded eyes, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know why I'm saying, you know what I'm saying so many times, I'm sorry. I'll stop, <laughs> I promise, I try. I love this shade, oh my goodness, it's such a pretty, um, like a pink peach shade. It's so gorgeous. So pretty. Um, now I'm going to be taking my Milani blending brush and I'm going in with Cheer, which is this sort of ooh, very red <laughs> shade, which is exactly next to Laugh Cry. So I'm just going to circle around my brush and tap off the excess. And I'm just going to apply that all over where I applied Love Cry. I'm going to try and keep it lower than Love Cry and not push it back up, basically. Ooh, gorgeous shades. And now I'm just gonna use the brush I used before just blend everything in. As you can see, these two shades blend in so, so nicely. 
together. I'm actually going to take cheer again and I'm going to actually drag it um, on the outer corner and not just leave it you know hanging at the end of the crease I guess you would say I don't know and then just blend everything I really like that oh my goodness this palette is amazing <laughs> like it's true um, the tutorials I've been seeing like they've been like saying good things about this palette but now uh, you know I believe them now because I've actually tried it out for myself so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sort of flatter brush I'll take this one which is called the Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush and I'm actually taking the shade Love Tons oh my goodness uh, this one which is Love Tons and I'm going to try and place this on my outer corner and then just basically drag it inwards. So we'll see how this goes. Ooh, this is such a gorgeous pink. So I'm basically dragging it on my outer corner and then I'm going to put it in my crease. And I'm just going to basically blend all the shades together using my Milani blending brush. And if you want a slight purple, because there's also a slight purple in this um, palette, you can always add the shade P Fifi, sorry, Fifi. I'll take this one, which was like an eBay replica of the Real Techniques these brushes kind of I forgot what they were called actually but this is like a little pointed like um, shadow brush basically and I'm gonna take this shade which is called Pyfi Pyfi I think that's how you say it Pyfi which is this one right there it's still recording right <laughs> and just going to gently have the lid shade left and there's so many to choose from I don't know which one to choose so I'm just gonna use this one oh heavens which probably is a lovely shimmer shade so this one I'm gonna use this one for all over my lid we're gonna see how this works so first I'm going to apply it with my it's just an eBay brush which is like a flat brush right here and I'm just going to apply without um, damping my brush, dampening my brush, and then we'll dampen the brush. Let's see how this works without the. Ooh. It's very pigmented, even though it's not wet. But I kind of want to wet my brush. I'm gonna actually be using the Mario Badesco spray because that's what's next to me. <laughs> so yeah. And we're just going to dampen, put the brush in the shadow. Oh, it's even much nicer. The brush I used before, which was for the um, lid shade, which was the Lux Soft Definer brush. I'm actually going to take some of Love Tons, sorry, Love Tons, and just to blend the lid shade with the rest of the makeup look. I really like it. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm just going to finish my eye makeup and then I'll be back when I have to do my um, basically lower lid. How do you say it? <laughs> you know, the lower lid under, un underneath my waterline. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we have to obviously finish our eye makeup and I'm going to be taking the shade um, Love Tons on a Lux pencil brush from Zoeva and I'm going to be putting it underneath my waterline. I think that's how you say it, right? And I'm just going to join it with the end of um, the outer corner. So I'm also going to be using this quad box from Revolution. I kind of forget always the name of it because I don't have the name written on the box. So I'm going to be taking this gold 
shade for my inner corner and also I'm going to be putting it a little bit on my um, the brow bone as well so I'm going to be taking again a lax pencil brush dipping it a bit on the um, shade basically <laughs> and I'm just going to apply that on my inner corner cool and I'm going to be taking Lux Bro Light from my Zoeva brushes. I'm going to be taking, I think the white shade, I think the white shade is much better for my brow bone highlight. Uh oh, that's too much, that's fine. I just wanted something like this. It's okay, we're just gonna to have to blend that out. Okay, so that is the brow bone highlight. I think I did too much, but I didn't know that the brush pick, picked up that much. Anyways, now an old favorite of mine. This was the Revolution um, Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit in Ultra Fair. This was it, I used to love this. I'm just going to use the contour shade. I'm actually gonna use, should I use the highlight shade? I'll just use the highlight shade from here as well because we haven't used it in a long time. So. Taking my Milani powder bronzer brush and I'm just going to bronze up my face. Create such a nice um, natural bronze look. And I'm actually going to take the highlight of theirs which is in the middle pan which is this one right here and I'm going to do it as my highlight. And this was really pigmented and I remember this was like the first highlighter I used to use on my uh, cheekbones. As you can see, it's so pigmented. Creates a really lovely glow. It just sort of emphasizes a bit of your texture. I do notice that. So I'm going to actually um, spritz my face. I'm going to actually do that again so we can see some more of the highlight popping a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> okay, and obviously the last and final step would be the lips. And for the lips, I'm going to be using one of Soph um, from Soph Does Nails um, lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Cake. I just love this. It's such a pretty shade. Now, if you're like me and you kind of like lipsticks which are matte, <laughs> all you gotta do is you take a tissue paper and you basically blot your lips on it. Like that, simples. For today, I kind of want my lips to stay a little bit um, shiny and velvety. And so this is the look I created today, doing the Emily Edit The Ones palette from Makeup Revolution. I hope you like this tutorial um, and basically this look. It's kind of more like a testing out um, the Emily Edits The Ones palette really than rather than a tutorial because I didn't really show you all the makeup I used but if you want to know what's on my face I actually did a review on the Conceal and Define foundation which is what's on my face so if you want to go see that video I will leave it linked down below it's probably going to be my previous video so yeah so this is the finished look um, I really love the ones palette and um, today we just really tried out the berry shades but if you want to see more videos using this palette then leave me a comment down below and we can use like darker shades like green shades and basically use different shades all around. So yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more, then press subscribe. And don't forget that if you want to be notified every single time I post a video, you can simply do so by clicking on the notification bell. So I'll see you guys in my next video.